are back. Welcome to another edition of the Sports Board. And we are back. We got the full crew in the house. That is what it's all about. The Yankees out of any team in the league are the best equipped to handle a blow like this. I think there is a higher power at play here. He's due law of averages. That dude is the ultimate scrub. <laughs> it's trash. <laughs> yeah. Every person you have in there is fucking trash. Next game, you're going to see a big, big, big performance. You can see it in the end of the game, and I'm just totally stoked and excited for this. And we are back. Welcome to another edition of the Sports Sport here on a Monday, the Monday after the horseshoe. Yeah. Barnes, Tony, Riley, that back is in the right, building. Dude. How you fellas doing today? Uh, doing great, man. You know, typical Monday here. Stoked to be back uh, in the studio, though. Uh, it's looking lovely in here, and I'm, I'm pretty excited to see the gang, you know, the usual Monday morning gang. We have, mm. you know, Bucked in the house already. We'll get to his comments soon, I'm sure. Uh, but I'm excited for a great show. A brand new week. Slate of shows, dude. Let's go. Yeah, absolutely. How was your weekend, Riley? It was great. A lot of college basketball. Um, Just sitting on the couch, drinking a little bit. Good food and just college basketball. Well, it was, drinking it was a great. Bit, huh, dude? It was it, great. It is kind of nuts that the, uh, the Sweet 16 is set. Yeah, kind of crazy. Yeah. I mean, we talked about it last night, too. How quick it just seems like all of a sudden. Like well, next thing you know, it's the Final Four. Yeah. And after right next after next week, yeah, after Easter, half the field has been uh, eliminated and then some. Mm-hmm. Some, of, crazy. some of our picks have been eliminated and then and, and then some. <laughs> some, yeah. <laughs> but honestly, I have to say, up to this point, I think the biggest chalk fest I've ever seen. Yeah. If you think about it, um, you know it, the teams, if you, you the non chalk teams, you got Clemson, the six seed, San Diego St- State, the five seed. Um, and that's all you have, you know, for Thursday is, is the Sweet 16. And then on Friday, you have the 11 seed NC State, the five seed Gonzaga, and that's it. So that's only four teams and only mm-hmm. one team um, that's a double digit seed. I mean, I can't remember the last time we had a Sweet 16 with only one team being a double digit seed. I know. It's kind of crazy. Do you think it makes it like less exciting? I think it's been so long since we've had mm-hmm. a quartet of one seeds in the final four. I would love to yeah. see it this year, especially UConn, because honestly, like I love UConn, but it's kind of not fun when they win by like so much every time. It's not, yeah. it's not, there's you're not on the edge of your seat. It's like, oh yeah, yeah they're gonna win. I mean, look at last night's game. Yeah. I mean, I know I guess Northwestern made a late push, you know, Chris Collins, all of that. Um, but still, it just I don't know. It's just not exciting. I mean, w- would you agree, Riley, that it just yeah, it when it's blah, it's like that. It just seems like no matter who, even if if UConn plays North Carolina, Purdue, Houston, I mean, do, is it going to be close? I think out of any year where we could have got chalk, this was the best year because um, the mid majors weren't great, and usually you see a mid major get to the Sweet Sixteen, get out of the first weekend, and then get usually smoked in the Sweet Sixteen. So it feels like it's good that this year we just have like really good programs, top of the top teams in the Sweet Sixteen, and it's good for the tournament. Where I think we're going to get a lot of good games coming down. Uh, the end of this tournament here. So I think I think it's a, a positive. I thought GCU last night beating Alabama would have been like cool. They would have been the one cool mid major to get in, but Alabama flexed their muscles late and they didn't get in. Same thing with Texas A and M. Yeah, yeah. So um, you know, I I'm I'm excited, and you know, we'll get underway Thursday. We got Clemson, Arizona, San Diego State, UConn, Alabama, North Carolina, and Illinois, Iowa State. Coincidentally enough, UConn. Uh, you know, playing San Diego State, who they faced mm, in the championship yeah. game last year, in at the TD Garden. Yes. Wow. Yes, is it really? Austin. Yeah. Yep. Um, and we do have a lot of comments, and I know Michael Butka is at the TD Garden often for the Tatum games, and I believe he's. Uh, <laughs> <left some comments. laughs> oh yes, of course, Michael Butka, obviously in the house early over with a big let's go. How about those Huskies, baby? And then he also says, how about those Lakers putting up one fifty last night? Um, anyone catch that game? No, because no, no. it's March Madness. No, it's not yeah, NBA. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. oh, but by the way, fellas, how about this? I, I, I'm guessing the, um, the um, tiebreaker is points or seeds. But so I was in fantasy basketball, first round of the playoffs, and going into yesterday, I was down seven three. Thought it was over. I wake up this morning, I tied, but won the tiebreaker. So I guess it's either points or higher seed. Wow, but, wow. Um, I've ne- like by the skin of my teeth. I was so excited because my team is so nasty. It's yeah, like, yeah. come on, can't be a first round out. 
like ridiculous. That's pretty awesome. dope, though. Good for you, dude. Yeah. So we're jacked. Did you like front. keep heavy track of it? Or, yeah. Oh, you, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah you, I tell around. you like all the time. Yeah. It's fantasy five times a day. But yeah, and maybe base. Honestly, I check baseball and football more than basketball. But basketball right. definitely like lamps got to be set. Mm -hmm. Got to got to set the lamps. Yeah. No slacking. But the nice thing is, you really could just set it before the week because not every team plays every day. So it's right. like not usually like. Oh, I have a couple guys Switch in the bench guys, that yeah. I don't have. It's like, well, there's not, not everybody's playing, so everybody plays like if there's if they have a game. Basically, that's pretty dope. Uh, what else we got here? Uh, Buck just saying he's so effing happy. Tatum can serve him snacks during the UConn game on Thursday. He also says shout out to Josh B and Kev Du, aka Aaron Judge Jr. He says, and he says, Tony, I know you're excited for Yankees baseball. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay. Matthew Gabriel says, also, let's go. What a freaking show last night. He says, uh, loved it, as did I. Nice W for the Huskies as well. Um, Amp for Thursday, opening day, he says, which, I mean, dude, like, again, can't believe it's here. Going to be a time oh, and a half. Shit. Um, and Michael Buckter wants to hear more UConn talk today. Um, he's taking over the comments, he says. Josh B. also listening. What up, fam? Quick turnaround. Love it. Happy Monday. Hedgehog TCA. Hedgehog Sports Board. Hedgehog DTV. My mother also without saying good morning. Uh, Michael's saying he had a nice Sierra Nevada during the UConn game last night. Anyone? Sierra Nevada. Anyone? I'm not a fan. Uh, I'm fine with it, but like it's not, I'm not, you know, overzealous for it. Though. Yeah, I would, I would never, I've never bought Sierra no, Nevada. No, it's usually just, just given there. it. Yeah, yeah. Actually, I had a lot of, uh, for a while, they were a big sponsor for Shoe. Um, really? So you used to have it at Reds. Any event you go to on campus that has alcohol, Sierra Nevadas. So it's like, you know, they're, they're all right. But again, wouldn't catch me buying one. No. Um, and then he also says, we, as in UConn, haven't had a game down to the wire in March Madness in two years, he says. Yeah, I mean, but if you think about it, the eight years prior, mm -hmm. I mean, not much March Madness success. So right. it's a give and take. But like I said, I just, I, there's just something to just like always just being like, they're just dominating everybody. I mean, like, do you think that, like, the rest of this tournament is going to be kind of a breeze for them, no matter who they play? Yeah. Really? San Diego State, they're going to win by the same mm -hmm. margin they yeah. won last night. Um, oh, maybe, my gosh. like, a Purdue or Houston or North Carolina gives them a fight, I guess, but I still I think, think they're going to win by 10. I think in an uh, Iowa State matchup in the Elite Eight could be a uh, close game. I still mm -hmm. think they win. Uh, anyone in that game. Uh, they play, if it's either Illinois or Iowa State, so I think that game could be close, but they still probably win. <laughs> Yeah, but we know at the end of the day uh, what's going to happen. Um, you think Josh B is sweating out the North Carolina Alabama matchup? I mean, I would think UNC should win that, but never know. Um, again, I, like you said, you would think UNC would win that, but I'm sure Josh B is sweating out. He seems like he's that type of you know sweating out guy. Yeah, you're wearing the UNC colors today, huh? Yeah, you a fan? This is actually from uh, the uh, Preston Country Club in Cary, North Carolina. So, wow, coincidentally dude. enough. <laughs> um <laughs> so yeah we'll, we'll have to see what happens but we did mention yesterday um that today we were going to preview the american league so kind of good timing for riley here we know he's anxious mm. uh, to talk about the red sox uh let's go to the world of major league baseball <laughs> And it works at a hundred miles an hour. Fourteen strikeout. Two deep to left field. There it goes. See ya. All right, all right. Josh be having an answer right now. He says should win. M sweating it out. This is the playoffs. Yeah, yeah. No, you never know at the tournament. But like I said, we are due. Um, to have four number one seeds in the final four. That'd be kind of cool. Mm -hmm. And I think that's what we need with UConn. Um, so we'll see. Um, is the notepad ready, Tony? Absolutely, dude. You know All it. right. Um, I mean, I guess since, um, you know, there's some some common ground here. I mean, we might as well start, you know, with the best division uh, in sports here. And we know what that <laughs> is. The American League East and, of course, containing the Baltimore Orioles, the Tampa Bay Rays. Toronto Blue Jays, New York Yankees, and Boston Red Sox. And actually, that was the order of finish last year. Correct. Of course, you know, we've had some, um, you know, changes in, mm -hmm. in the offseason, some player movement. Everybody's at route for Corbin Burns to the Orioles. But yeah, the funny solid. part is, 
I want to say their their win total, like over under, is like eighty eight. So despite winning one on one, wow, adding Corbin Burns, expected to add Jackson Holiday at some point this summer. Um, they're actually projected to win less games, and I think that's kind of like what I always talk about: the surprise season, following it up the next year. Um, and, and with Tampa, I, I feel like they oh. didn't really do much. Nothing, like I can't I really think of anything. No. I don't know if you you recall anything, Riley. Um, no, but it'll be the same team. I feel yeah, like. yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, it's still. probably a lock for ninety games. Um, you know, you know, the Blue Jays lost Matt Chapman, but added Justin Turner. Mm. Um, but then they also have some pitching injuries they're de- dealing with. Um, I know Gaussman isn't going to be ready for opening day. I think they're going with Barrios. And then Jordan Ramon, Romano has had some elbow inflammation. Um, and I think the big thing there is just just relying on, um, you know, bounce backs. Um, come on, Tony. Chris Bassett is a mediocre pitcher. Let's see. <laughs> oh. He is, though, honestly. Like, he, he I mean, pitched guess. over his head last year. He's not going to be that good. Alex Manoa is going to end in the instruction league. No, <laughs> He was so out. Kikuchi um, pitched well last year, though. He's going to get popped. You think so? Um, I'm not really high on this Blue Jays team, especially because no, I yeah, just think Vladdy is not going to live up to the hype. Hype. Um, <sighs> I like, uh, you know, uh, Bo Bichette. Yeah, of um, course. He had a great year. And then Dalton Varsho, I think, you know, could take a step forward this year. Um, but other than Digio. that, I, you know what I mean? Are, are we getting riled for uh, IKF? I mean, I don't think so. Yeah, no, not really. Um. Is but, he gonna be like their utility guy or or what? Like yeah, 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 yeah. yeah probably they're gonna play him all over the place. So you think Turner gets the, the start at third base? Yeah. Wow. Good um, for him. I mean, he, Riley knows he had a great year. He last had a year. fantastic yeah, yeah. year. I wanted to bring him back really bad. Um, uh, playing defense the whole season was a little interesting. Was he? Yeah. Oh, he just was not good on defense. So he's thirty nine. Yeah. years old. Forty yeah. years old. Almost. Yeah, yeah. What, um, what was his deal? Did he just want a lot of money or to Red Sox wouldn't give him? Right. Yeah. He, he wanted to stay in Boston. Yeah. He even put it on Instagram, and the Red Sox just were like, "No." Nah, um, that kind of sucks. But but I just <laughs> I look at this team, Riley, and the only guy that I see on the rise is is Bo Bichette, maybe Dalton Varsho. I mean, what are what are your thoughts on the yeah. Blue Jays moving forward? Um, I, I think you need uh Vladdy to be that monster. Yeah. He can't be what he did last year. Yeah. He has to be like an MVP candidate for this team to do anything this year. And then on the pitching side, uh it has to go back to um what's it called? Manoa's, I think he's awful. Yeah. I don't think mm-hmm. there's going to be no bat, bounce back. Dude, there. Yeah, I don't think so either. Like, but I mean, let's hypothetically wise, if they want to compete, he's going to have to bounce back. Oh, right. yeah. Um, Kikuchi's got to be decent. Like, there's so many things on that staff that have to happen, right? And with the bullpen, uh, Romano, is, I think, is decent on the back end. Like, he's a very good closer. The other pieces in that bullpen, I don't really see anything else there that really differentiates Chad Green. in the AL East. Yeah, Chad, yeah, Chad Green, Green Chad could Green. be good, yeah. but I don't know. It's still one arm, though. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's one arm, and then you know, the anytime you're talking about elbow injuries with a closure in Romano, um, you know, that's not a good sign. No bueno. Um, so yeah, I see them kind of a middle of the pack team. Um, and then you mm-hmm. know, obviously, you know, you have the Yankees and the Red Sox, and um, you know, I think Yankees Orioles seem like they are top um, you know, the two, top bro. contenders for the division. It kind yeah. of seems like. Red Sox, you know, seem like they're kind of locked at last place. I mean, yeah. who, who would, who else would finish last if it wasn't them? Would it really be Toronto? I think it'd be Toronto. Um, not, not Tampa. I don't think Toronto. I, 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 think, I it's, think it's like the only a thing. That Sorry, Riley. Yeah, I think the it only is thing too. I think that we have going for us is against Toronto. Is Toronto still in this? We think we can win mode, right? Um, where they have like pretty, pretty much old players. Yeah. If some of our young guys want to catch, that'd be the only difference. Like if some of I these mean, guys. Geez. I mean the we have a bunch of young guys. Uh-huh. That's the only thing. Tanner how no, right? No, the rotation, like for lack of a better term, blows. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. Lucas Giolito is out. Uh, yeah, yeah. They won't sign Montgomery. So the rotation. Brian Bay hasn't proved anything yet. This is a big prove. Nick Pavetta but, tired of hearing his name already. But um, yeah, the rotation's really bad. But then if you go through the offense, what do we got, dude? There's room for young guys to break out. That's all. That's what this team is. Um, um, and, and I, I have to ask you this because I just kind of saw his name last night. Um, and I picked him on my 18 team fantasy league that I had at the horseshoe draft last night. Um, Sedane Raffaella. Yeah. Is he supposed to be really He's good. He's supposed to be like that. He has the same stance as Mookie Betts. Wow. He's supposed to be like this young guy coming up. Last year he came up, had a flash in the pan, um, hit a couple homers, looked good. Did was chasing a lot. Okay. Oh yeah. Uh, his chase rate was crazy this mm-hmm. spring. His chase Pretty rate's solid, been though. fantastic. This spring. three home runs, eight RBIs, four stolen bags too. That's good. Yeah, he's a young guy. Like, yeah, he speedy. Is, 
it's just there's going to be a thing in the outfield now where it's you you got to do you want winning or do you want these young guys to and I, if you're not going to win anyway why mm-hmm. play a, someone like Yoshida to be honest yeah. like I want to see Duran Rafaela out there almost every day. But Rafaela, I think they said could play short, right? He can oh, play yeah. short. Yeah, but he's but in there. Story's gonna be. Story's gonna be. But Story could play second with the injury to Gresham or no? No, he's back at short full time. Doesn't. But who's play gonna second. play second? Probably gonna be a mix. They said Rafaela could try there. Pablo Reyes yeah. might be a starting. But really, I think if they could put. Um, you know, uh, Rafaela at second, that's ideal because then you could, you know, she just got to play. Cause I mean, I think he's one of their best players and yeah. then him, Duran. And then who would be the third? Tyler outfielder? O'Neal. Tyler O'Neill. Cause rough center is banged up, isn't he? Yeah. I I saw. And, uh, I still, I'd rather Tyler O'Neill, even though I know ref center kills lefties. I'd rather. Ref center is beat, honestly. Really? You, you just can hit. Like, his only thing is he can hit 300 off lefties. That's it. Yeah. Like, but I, as a, as an everyday player, he's going to hit like 220 yeah. with no power. Ah. Much. Um, so last place. Yeah, basically, yeah. basically. But but I, I'll go last match. year. No, I mean, we know not, I can talk not. about the American League East all day. Let's start with Riley here. If you could give us order of finish uh, in the American League East, and also note if um, you think you know a wild card or two is going to come out of here. I think honestly, we have a tie. We don't do one sixty three anymore, right? That's not a thing. no. But I think if there if there was Orioles and Yankees play one sixty three for the division. Mm-hmm. Um, so those are my t- those are my top. Wow. Two. And if you had to though, just say. Who wins the tiebreaker? <laughs> I'm not gonna be tied. It doesn't matter. No, I mean I think I think the um Orioles have better pitching mm-hmm. than the Yankees. Um, but the Yankees lineup is better, and I think offense in the LB now is probably the bigger thing. So I'd probably have to take the Yankees there. Um, but I just think I think Burns is gonna have a crazy year for that. I think like, so. Like I think too, Burns dude. is gonna be a Cy Young, Cy Young candidate. Yeah. Struggled in the spring so far. Doesn't matter. Yeah. Um, you know. We'll and then um, changing leagues. If I'm going to give, a challenge. If, it is. You're right. No, you're right. And if, then what, God. Bro? If I'm going to give the Yankees to win the AL East, then my bias has to come in somewhere. So uh, we're going to go Sox finishing third, Blue, uh, Tampa Bay fourth, Rays fifth. Uh, or no, no, or Blue Jays fifth, or Ray, Blue Jays, said? Blue Jays fourth. Oh no, Rays fourth, fourth Blue, Blue Jays, Jays fifth. fifth. Okay, gotcha. Just because, gotcha. but mm-hmm. I don't think those. I don't think. Um, yeah, I think there's going to be one winner and then one wild card. So I think okay. Yankees and Orioles are two. two so Blue race. Jays, Red Sox, and Rays out of the uh, Out of it. Like, not even. Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. So we have that noted. And and let's go to Tony now for the. Uh, um, I want to say that the Yankees do win the division here. Um, man, I mean, I, I know, like again, like to the fact of the Baltimore Orioles here. I mean, I think they're going to be incredibly competitive. I think, like Riley said, it could be like a one A one B situation. But I think at the end of the day, I mean, like, how much confidence do I have in, in Kimbrel like closing out games? I feel oh. like quite a few big spots he's going to be, I think, blown it. And I think that will be the deciding factor is is the bullpen for the Orioles. And I feel like the Yankees do have a good bullpen. So give me the Yankees winning Orioles in second, and then I don't know. I think I think maybe Toronto can be again like they they can be kind of dangerous. Like you're looking at their their roster i mean they have a lot of talent i know you mentioned bo bichette um even biggio too um i don't know and if flatty is that guy which i think he's gonna bounce back a little bit i don't think he's gonna be worse than he was last season and i want to say the rotation is pretty solid honestly i have some confidence in bassett kikuchi i think manoa probably not so much i was just doing some research on manoa with like uh shoulder soreness was <laughs> shut down for a little bit he's gonna be an absolute watch this is a yeah. shame he's 26 years old too like yeah, that fucking he sucks like he was one of the best pitchers in the league going into last season i don't understand what happened in the offseason he gained like 30 pounds too like what yeah. are we doing he doesn't dude? have the drive probably. i guess not lazy yeah. lazy um nonetheless they'll give me the blue jays in at third then tampa bay and then i guess boston Okay. Yeah. And uh, is it just Yankees Orioles playoffs or Blue Jays get us another wild card? I think Blue Jays get a wild card. Mm. Three teams out of the East. Yeah. Okay. Think, very good division. Very good division. Very good division. It is. Dude. But uh, I think the West <laughs> probably, I think, gets the two teams in the Central. This <sighs> one, if I had to guess. But yeah. Um, That's what I would say. Yeah. So I'm going to obviously say uh, the Yankees, uh, number one, due to, to win the division. Uh, <laughs> offense is loaded. Mm-hmm. And I really am excited. I think Rodon is going to bounce back. I think Strowman is going to be really solid, and I think you'll get a lights out half season from Garrett Cole, and I think that is enough. Um, you know, with the addition to Soto, with Volpe stepping up, um, you know, and then having Anthony Rizzo back, um, Stanton resurgence as well. I mean, there's so many pieces on this offense. So I think the Yankees won. Uh, the Orioles probably like a game or two behind them, mm-hmm. with uh, probably the first wild card in the American League, and then I will say. 
uh, probably Tampa third, Blue Jays fourth. I just, I don't oh. know. I think ever since Vladdy said the thing about yeah. this year was the movie, next year's the sequel, and it's like, what, what are we talking about here at the end of the day? Um, so, yeah, I think I'll I have them finishing out. fourth, Red Sox finishing fifth, um, and then this is a two-team um, playoff division, so mm-hmm. between the Yankees and the Orioles. Um so uh, that's really what we have for the AL East. Uh, then moving on to the AL Central, probably the weakest division in baseball. Um, yeah, I if think I had so. to say, I mean, Minnesota won last year. You had Detroit narrowly get second over Cleveland. And then uh, the White Sox and Royals uh, bringing up the rear. Uh, Royals added some guys in free agency. Um, they did. You know, Tigers as well. Uh, but, you know, it kind of seems like it's it's between Minnesota mm-hmm. and Cleveland here. Um, but really, I mean, again, I, I think the winner of this division is mid to high eighties and wins. Um, you know, I just, I don't see, you know, where the talent is. And I know like, you know, you have Cleveland up here. I mean, they're pitching, they always seem to figure it out. Um, mm-hmm. uh, but what's Shane Bieber, you know, he's kind of struggled with injuries and performance the last couple of years. Mm-hmm. Uh, Tanner BB, there's some expectations there. I think Tristan McKenzie's Okay. Klaus Day is a good closer. Stefan, I think, is going to have Tommy John. Um, you know, Karen Chack is okay. But then on offense, I mean, who's hitting uh, besides Jose Ramirez? Um, you know, that's that's the million-dollar question here. I mean, Jimenez, again, is is okay. Um, so it's it just a matter, I think, of them surprising people with their pitching if they want a chance. Quan is okay, but nothing special. Um, but, um, you know, so that's, that's kind of interesting. Minnesota... I mean, I think they kind of surprised a little bit because I don't think they were a playoff team the year before, but Mm-mm. Pablo Lopez had a great year as a starter. Yeah, really, dude. Joe Ryan and Bailey mm-hmm. O'Bear as well. So their pitching, I think, was a lot better than anticipated. I think Duran's going to start the season on the injured list. No, Di Scalvani. I think he's cooked. Um, yeah, bullpen is definitely not Oof. great, Tony. Yeah, no, I wouldn't um, say And then so. offense, Bry- Byron Buxton, I think, has been trending in the wrong <sighs> direction for years yeah. now. Um, He's gonna stay healthy, but I mean, again, with the offense here, I mean, who's who's the run producer? I guess Royce Lewis was Royce okay Lewis last year. Last year, yeah. Uh, Correa has been, I think, a big disappointment. Mm-hmm. Um, I hate that guy, but He's yeah, I mean, it's in the Margo, you know. So no, again, nobody. It, it's a shame because I really thought Buxton was was ready for starter, but it just doesn't seem like that's the case. I mean, it just seems like his body does everything against it for for him to be successful. The injuries has been horrific with him, dude. It, yeah. it sucks, dude. I feel like this guy was hitting inside the park home runs, and they, like, and they can't even play him in the field because he's gonna get hurt. Yeah, and even it, though he'd be like a Gold Glove center fielder, he really would, dude. I mean, his speed, and athleticism, when he's healthy, is just ridiculous, dude. Yeah. Um, and Max Kepler certainly isn't really doing them any favors out there in the outfield either. So. Oh, Carl Santana over there, the DH position. I mean, I don't know. It's man. crazy though. This team is probably going to win the division with that lineup. You don't think the the, um, the Guardians like? No, no there's no definitely offense, not, dude. Yeah, I feel like like you said too. The Tigers. I feel like they added some names, and I feel like they even surprised me last season with the amount of wins they got. Well, and Tyler Scubal, I think, did pretty, pretty yeah, well. Yeah. Um, Gio or Shell is not a lock to make the roster. I don't know if they've decided that yet. Casey Mize. Um, you know, Javier Baez has been one of the bigger free agent busts. I, oh, imagine. my God. He's a bum. Everybody knows um, it. They need they need Torkelson to take another step this year, too. He was good last year, finally. Yeah. Um, Spencer. Mm-hmm. Andy Abanez, Mark Kana. I mean, Mark uh, Zach Kana, McKinstry dude. could play every position. Riley Green, Parker Meadows. But... I don't. I don't know. I mean, Jack Flaherty. Maybe they're hoping he rebounds. But what are the chances? Dude, this of that? is a pretty terrible division here, huh? Yeah. Um. You know, Casey Mize. I think has been disappointed yeah. from where you know he was drafted. Um. And then speaking of disappointments, I mean, who's more disappointing in the last five years than the Chicago White Sox? Yeah. Oh, oh my God, dude! Off. So yeah. trash. Um. You know, again, they should be a lot better, but they're just not. And they traded Dylan Cease, uh, so the pitching. You know, is even more thin. I don't know if they're gonna give you know Drew Thorpe a shot at the opening mm-hmm. day roster. Probably not. I know Garrett Crochet is gonna start opening day, mm-hmm. which is I mean, pretty pretty much an indictment on your pitching staff. Yeah. Uh, Michael Kopech moved to the bullpen. Uh, supposedly he's hitting triple digits. Um, so he could oh, that's be, cool. be a closer for them and, and be pretty solid. Um, but Eric you know, Fetty. offensively. <laughs> You know, Mancada's been disappointing. Ben Attendee's been disappointing. Andrew Vaughn's been disappointing. The best 
offensive guy is uh, Luis Robert. You know, he's mm-hmm. still pretty good. He's only 26. Eloy Jimenez has been a disappointment. So right. I think their offense is better than their pitching. But again, I mean, I don't see this being more than 75 wins. I mean, do you think by any chance they can capture like some lightning in a bottle with Robert, maybe Benintendi, Paul DeJong? But who, I don't, I don't know about the pitching. Because yeah, the pitching is tough, dude. Not I mean, Michael Soroka. If Soroka and- is healthy i feel like he's gonna be really betty good eric betty Flexing in the middle of your rotation ah uh, that's really and I, I don't know this this guy yeah. nick nistrini i don't really know him at all but that, that is tough but michael stroker could be an ace still i mean it'd be a but great story for him missed i mean it's uh, tough to imagine that but i guess you never know i know dude I know. Um, but yeah i think another disappointing season for them and i know the royals are riled they added waka i like him and um lugo but i guess waka got hit by a comebacker or something i just saw really um and then of course bobby wood jr everybody's excited about him yeah he's huge um but I, I don't I, I don't know sal perez um i can see this team making the Brady biggest singer. jump and yeah. maybe 54 not. wins last year, mm-hmm. I think. Right? I think yeah. Brady Singer. I think Brady Singer got hammered last year. Really? I don't know yeah. fantasy team, but he's supposed to be good. But he's six wins. Yeah, at Hunter year. Renfro. Um, I think Bobby Witt is a stud. Um, I don't see this team. Vinny Pasquino missed the, almost half the season last year, mm-hmm. so you're gonna get a full season out of him. Um, I can see this team making a big jump to like around 70 wins, but definitely nothing in the ballpark of winning. That's a huge jump. Well, yeah, what did they get? 59 last year? They went 56. 11, 56. Yeah. I think they're a much better team last year. I think they're not a good team, but... They're much better than they were last year. Having yes, Pasquantino for the full year. I think Vinny Pasquantino is a good player. Yeah, you never know what you're going to get with Seth Lugo, too, I guess. I mean, he could be good. Even Waka had a solid season with the Padres, right? Um, this division is just awful. Like it's just It really is kind of crazy, dude. Top to bottom bad. Um, I think the Twins are probably going to win it, but... Uh, I mean, yeah, let's uh, let's start. So uh, yeah. what, what's your uh, order of finish here, Riley? So you're saying Twins. Uh, I'm going to go. It? I'm going to go Twins. Back to back. I'm going to go Twins, Guardians, Royals. No. Yes, yes, yes. T- that was kind of tough. Yes. No, it sucks. <laughs> Tigers, White Sox. All right. And then I'm guessing, obviously, a one team. In the one playoffs. team. Yeah. Uh, just no, no yeah. wild card. What about you, Tony? Um, I mean, I guess, I guess I gotta go twins too. I know it's kind of tough, but uh, well, um, no, yeah, I'll go twins. Um, but then give me, I oh, God, God, I hate to go like the same chalk here, but like give me the Royals maybe coming in second, then the Guardians, then the Tigers, then the White Sox. How about that? I'm gonna go get crazy here. Tigers win the division. Wow. Mm. Uh, we're gonna see Kansas City in second, uh, and then Guardians third. White Sox forced Twins last. Really? Ravaged by injuries. Wow. Buxton out for the year by mid-April. Wow, dude. <laughs> yeah, Correa maybe released right. after the season. Like, that bad. Trade at the deadline. Crazy, maybe the Mets pick him up. Nah, yep. so, dude, that's not going to happen, dude. That's not going to happen. They would uh, not be so dumb but to yeah, do the that, Tiger- dude. <laughs> been a while well, since the Tigers have well. been in the postseason. Uh, so, yeah, I, I think they win. But, again, a one-team playoff uh, division yeah. here. Um, and Pretty that bad. leaves us to quite possibly the most competitive division. Love this division uh, in the AL West. Obviously, they they don't have the gambling shark Shohei Otani in this division anymore, mm-hmm. but still the lots bookie. of talent. Yeah. Um, oh yeah. By the way, real quick, Riley. Yeah. What uh, do you got? We talked about that a lot last night. Um, you think anything's gonna happen there in terms of him being like banned or suspended or anything? No, I I just I I don't see it. I don't see it. I mean, um, he's the poster boy. There's nothing linking to him to directly placing bets unless they have that information, unless that's not being told to the public yet. I don't see a, a way you can because right now, what it looks like he gave his friend a couple million dollars to cover his losses. Yeah, but but we are all saying we think he's just a compulsive gambler and he's just oh, using him as a scapegoat. Have um, you seen the pictures from March Madness? Yeah, like, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my god, it's so good. and all the everyone like quotes you, and they're like, Oh, dude, he's definitely sweating, dude. How about uh, yesterday? Josh B calls in to the Horseshoe Sports Board and starts saying how there's bets that were bet made, slips or something, bet slips that were made way back in his hometown by you don't know who, but it was against the Angels. There's one game against the Braves, one game against the Padres, both against the Angels, and then. Like covering the the uh, the spread too, and each game Otani pitched and get and got popped. Hmm. 
I, but I don't know. I think I, I mean, you can't, yeah, maybe you can't prove like who plays that bad, but I mean, I just didn't believe the Kev do report about Garrett Cole with still needing surgery. Like that seems Kev do. Well, I think, yeah, yeah. I, I think like, I don't want to be, mm -hmm. I mean, we looked at the games, we looked at the games, the games, here. you know, he didn't do but well. I think that I honestly have a feeling that's just that, somebody like just has nothing better to do. Yeah. Making up that. Well, Ipe is, yeah, you, you, you could be right. Is uh, like a liar. Like he, who? Lied about Ipe. The oh, the translator. Yeah. Okay. He lied about the degree from uh, UC Barbara, I believe. Yeah, yeah I mean, he could. He actually, yeah. I mean, that then, is possible, but it just seems like why would why would any even if they knew he worked for Otani, why would they give him a multi million dollar line of credit though? They wouldn't. You know, so that's why yeah. it seems like it has to be Otani. Yeah, and, and like they're in on it together, and now Otani's saying, "Well, I have no nothing, no other choice. I have to just blame everything on you." Yeah, honestly, dude. Which and, and then. Like, when like Otani's like, yeah, I just got married. No one even knew he had a girlfriend. It's yeah, like, a lot of sketchy stuff. A lot of uh, a lot of sketchy stuff. No that's one knew for sure. he, what, what are you trying to say. No one knew he was in a relationship, and then right. you just like put on Instagram. He's like, I have happy news. I'm <laughs> married. Well, that's kind of weird. You think I'm like a green card married? Maybe I don't know what it is. Yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to make uh, assumptions, but okay. But I would think you know sooner rather than later. <laughs> um, you know we'll have some clarity on that. Um, but with the AL West, obviously, you know, your defending World Series champs are the Texas Rangers. Um, they have some issues with the pitching. You know, obviously, Scherzer and DeGrom starting the year on the injured list. They lost Jordan Montgomery. Um, or, well, I guess technically not yet, but they're not going to resign him. But so really, I mean, their options as, as starting pitchers here are, are Valdi, John Gray, Andrew Heaney, Michael Lorenzen, uh, Tyler Molly. Uh, to start, and then you know, eventually they'll get Scherzer into ground back. So I think pitching to you know they have Dane Dunning as well. Pitching mm -hmm. I think is going to be a problem to start. I think I they'll think figure so it too. out. They added David Roberts Robertson in the bullpen. They're expecting <sighs> Jose Leclerc to be the closer. Um, you know, offense is very strong. Whether it's Duran and Young and Low mm -hmm. and, and Seager and Simeon, um, Evan Carter. There's a lot of expectations there. The second year yeah, lefty outfielder, um, Adolis Garcia has been one of the best outfielders in the game uh, the last couple of years. So definitely going to be a potent offense that'll probably be top three, top five in the American League or the whole league in in run score but it's just what's the pitching going to do what are degrom and Scherzer are going to look like when they come back um i think those are just kind of the questions uh, with texas but of course uh one of the favorites uh to win this division along with the houston astros who have won this division um you know many times um a lot of the same names verlander mm -hmm. will start the year on the injured list but probably expected back sometime in april uh framber valdez starting on opening day Kind of had an up and down year. We talked about him going to the cap last night. Tony. Yeah, so dude. Who knows if he, you know, really relies on the you know, sticky <laughs> stuff? Uh, Christian Javier had a had a disappointing year last year. Does he rebound? Um, Hunter Brown. There's a lot of expectations there. He's going to be their three starter. Luis Garcia will come back from Tommy John, and then McCullers and JP France. Uh, your quitty. So I mean, they have some options at starting pitching. Um, I think Valdez and uh, Brown are definitely the best. I think Verlander will be okay, but I don't think you know he has any more Cy Youngs left in that arm. I think he's more of like a mid rotation starter at this point. Yeah, but I could see him, you know, performing well in the postseason. Obviously, the big story for them is you know signing Hader to that hundred million dollar contract, so he takes over as closer, and then you Sick. move Presley and Montero down. Abreu suspended. I don't know if it was PEDs. I think uh, to start the year, but he's one of their better relievers. So I think oh, wow. the bullpen. Um, you know, we'll be good. You know, they also have Kendall Gra Graveman in there as well. Um, and then offensively, I mean, we know about the cast of characters there. Diaz came on strong at catcher mm -hmm. last year. Jose Abreu, I, you know, he's, he's kind of trash. I kind of think dude. he's done. Yeah. Um, but then you also have, of course, Altuve, Alex Bregman, you know, Jeremy Pena, I think a little disappointing last year, but I think he's definitely a, a rebound candidate. Um, and then Jordan Alvarez, clearly one of the best, you know, left-handed hitters um, in the game in the outfield, um, along with what probably um, is it My Myers or McCormick, and that oh Kyle Tucker, Charles McCormick, Ky yeah. Kyle oh, Tucker, yeah. one of the best outfielders in the game as well. So mm -hmm. I think they're loaded on offense and almost similar to the um, Rangers. Rangers. I think the pitching might come into question, but it's definitely yeah. better than the Rangers. But you, know, you definitely have some question marks there. Um, and then, you know, you also, of course, have the Seattle Mariners in this division. 
Um, they have some expectations. I think their pitching is going to be mm-hmm. really, really strong. Uh, Castillo, Kirby, Gilbert, Miller, and Wu. Um, that's a pretty good five. Mm-hmm. Munoz um, is definitely a solid closer in the bullpen. Maybe they have to add some names around the trade deadline. Um, but I think their offense, of course, led by uh, Julio Rodriguez, I think, you know, will be pretty strong. Uh, Ty France, I'm not really fond of. Mm-hmm. They did add Polanco in the offseason as well. That was a good pickup. Uh, Rojas is marginal. Good, yeah. JP Crawford yeah. uh, is okay, more of a, a defender in, in my opinion. Then I, yeah. Mitch Hanniger, Luke yeah. Rayleigh. Um, do you, you guys think with them, like pitching will be great? Offense kind of mediocre, or, or what do you think? All kind of comes down to Julio. Yeah, I, I, I think Julio's so. Carry. And even so, I mean, I don't know, man. I, I think it's still gonna be mediocre at, at best, to be honest. And I mean, honestly, the rotation. I don't know. I feel like, I Castillo mean, obviously is Castillo stud. is a stud. Kirby yeah. is really good. Yeah. Gilbert, I think, is still figuring He's it out. He's on the fritz a little H- bit. Him and Miller, I think it could go either way. Yeah. You know, they could have strong years or mm-hmm. they could be kind of middle of the pack. I like Stanek getting again to that bullpen, though. Um, yeah. Munoz, I think Matt Brash has good stuff. We haven't seen it play out all the time, but I think mm-hmm. he has good stuff. Um, but on the offensive side of this team, I really like this team a lot. But, um, but who do you like besides Julio? I mean, who else is like you? Think well, I just like year? I like now that you can have a DH here with Mitch Garver probably DHing for them, and then you have Cal Riley as your starting catcher. Um, I like the addition of Jorge Polanco, who not Lake is on point, but he's nothing crazy, but he definitely lengthens the lineup there. Um, and then it comes down to Julio having an MVP year, which I think he can. And it comes down to a bunch of guys like JP Crawford. Can he hit like he ah. hits from the, in the past? But then he sometimes has these huge lulls. Mm-hmm. Um, but I don't want to, yeah, I don't want to uh, give up the picks yet. But this is a team I'm very high on. Yeah. And Julio mm-hmm. has a chance to go 40 40. Yeah, yeah. I, for some reason, does. I really like this team. And um, this is actually the Red Sox open up again. So I'll, I'll be able to see them. Oh, yeah. That's dope. Yeah, dude. So, I mean, they're kind of due to break through in the postseason. Um, you know, we'll see what happens. Another team that's due, but probably is going nowhere near the postseason, is the Angels. And of course, the big loss for them this offseason, Shohei Otani. Um, and, and really, as always, I mean, I guess technically the starting rotation is better than it's been, but I still think it's weak. Um, you know, obviously Tyler Anderson got hammered uh, from coming over from the Dodgers last year. Griffin Canning, uh, you know, hasn't lived up to expectations. He is 27. There's a chance, um, you know, he, you know, improves. Uh, Reed Detmers, I think, was it last mm. year he threw the no hitter or was that the year before? I think that was the year before year, that. Year dude. before. Oh, yeah. Um, you know, and then Patrick Sandoval, I think, is mm-hmm. decent. Um, and uh, Jose Suarez was disappointing. Um, I think Esteves is closer is is okay you have adam simber in the bullpen as well um so you know definitely a, a mediocre pitching staff in, in my mind um offensively ohop you know there's a lot of expectations there after getting injured early in the season last year you know they're projecting mm-hmm. him as a 20 homer guy uh brandon drury did hit 20 home runs for them last year um you know as a second baseman but then it's like the rest of the infield what are they going to get there will anthony rendon even play seven no, games he doesn't, Mr. Baseball. Give a shit. Yeah, he doesn't want to play dude. um i don't know anything about nolan channel the first base he's they're very high on him uh he i believe he came out of college last year and he played in the mlb a month later so they they're high on him he's gonna be their everyday first baseman uh he has decent odds to win rookie of the year um not a power guy kind of a kind of a Average first baseman, which is something you don't see a lot, but yeah, yeah, usually that position definitely associated with power. Um, and then I guess they're going with um Regnifo at second, but they also have Stefanik and then I guess Nito at short. Um, so it'll be interesting to see how they piece together the infield. Outfield, of course, led by Mike Trout, but again, you know, can he even play oh, 120 gosh. games? All the injuries he's had. And then in spots last year, Mickey Moniak and Taylor Ward were on fire. Mm. Uh, what do they do to follow that up? And they're going with Hicks, I think, as the fourth outfielder. They have Ode- mm-hmm. Adele as well, but he, as a top prospect, been a has boss. been disappointing. A- um, so, again, I think the Angels, you know, a ton of question marks. And does any team in the major leagues have more question marks than the Oakland A's? Um, you know, widely expected to be probably the worst team in yeah. the league once again, um, you know, so this bad. season. I mean, they have a couple guys, you know, who are okay. JP Sears? 
Uh, J.P. Sears is one of those guys. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Ken Waldachuk, the former Yankee prospect, mm-hmm. has definitely been you know disappointing. He's on the IL, looks like right now. Yeah, same thing with yeah. Luis Medina. Mm-hmm. Um, you know he hasn't been great either. I mean they have Alex Wood, Ross Stripling, Stripling. um, you know Sean Newcomb, uh, Paul Blackburn. I mean this is like a Triple A pitching staff. Yeah, Other yeah. than I do think Sears, you know, can pitch and have like a high three ERA. I think it make you know 25, 30 starts. Had a good spring training. Yeah. Um, I've always liked him. Um, but yeah, I think their pitching <laughs> once again is gonna get hammered. And then offensively, mm-hmm. I mean Langa Lears is okay yeah. at catcher. Um, and then the infield, I mean, geez, Abraham Toro, Ryan Noda, Darnell Hernaz, Zach Davis. Galef, uh the yeah, JD Davis, the former Met yeah. great. Um, and then Adelmus Diaz, um, the former Astro, Nick wow, Allen. His team is tough. Um, I know Miguel Andewar is injured, so he's not going to be on the opening day Miguel roster. Andy. Brett Rooker, you know, uh, they're expecting big things out of him, but like Blade, I <sighs> mean, Astori Ruiz did steal, I think, 50 something bases last year. Really? So they're hoping he can come on as a, a hitter. Um, and I think he had a 67. 67. Yeah, I did take him on one of my fantasy teams uh, Jesus, just for dude. that alone. And I guess they're saying, his contact rate has been better. Um, you know, spring training 260 after hitting what 254 mm-hmm. last year. I think better exit velo, but obviously you got to do stuff like that. Still bases, it, you know, if they want to have any shot. But yeah, I don't, dude. I don't know how this team can even win 65 games. To be honest, yeah. yeah. I mean, they won 50 last season, and I mean, it doesn't really. There's much improved there. I think maybe we should go out for the team. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Right. Like, um, that'd be sick. Open but that and then you know who knows what happens with the Vegas thing. But I think if that does end up happening, um, I think then we'll see a change in philosophy there for John Fisher. Oh yeah, and, man. And the ownership group. Uh, but they just done a bad job too with prospects. Even in the last couple I years, know. like no one's coming up. That's that's you know you should well, all this losing. You should have right. a lot of good prospects. I mean, honestly, yeah, you're definitely right. But I mean, again, like what makes a bad organization is is not being able to scout players. Or effectively, or right. yeah, or develop them. Um, but if they do, you know, they make the move to Vegas. Do you think like budget opens up? You think within three years, complete overhaul, turnaround, they're really competitive in the division. Yeah, because otherwise, yeah. I mean, you're gonna have a stadium to pay for and no one going to it. They can't yeah. risk that. You know. Yeah, true. That's crazy, dude. Um. Um. So yeah, <laughs> I was actually just gonna kind of segue to uh, to Riley the, here. Yeah, yeah. let's go. Finish. Tell us how West. the Mariners are gonna win the division. Yeah, I think the Mariners are gonna win this division. Um, I'm picking them to win it. Um, in second and third, basically the same thing I said. They at least two ties. Both are gonna get wild card spots. Mm-hmm. Uh, the Rangers and, and Astros. The Rangers actually have my pick for um, a over to the year. Um, and how, are we gonna do that? So I don't want to give away. Yeah, yeah, I think we normally do at okay. the end. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so um, and then the end, the back of the division goes Angels, Oakland. Um, wow, and that's tough. I don't think Seattle's gonna win. I think it's gonna come down between the Rangers and the Astros again. And honestly, dude, ah, I don't know. I feel like the Rangers are gonna really struggle with their starting rotation more so than the Astros. I understand Verlander, tough, but. I don't know, the Rangers, you know, they're losing Monty. Well, when they do lose Monty, I think that's the wrong move by them. I think DeGrom is not going to pitch a lot. There's no way Scherzer and DeGrom are pitching a lot. Like, there's no way, dude. Yeah, probably not. Probably between the both of them, yeah. maybe not even 150 innings. Um, And again, I don't know, dude. I understand, like, Nathan Uvalde like, really proved himself last season. I, I don't know, man. I'm, I'm kind of up in the air about him. I think Heaney could have an off year. So could Dane Dunning. We've seen him do that uh, when he was in Chicago. Um, so I don't know, man. I think that their rotation is more of a toss up. David Robertson, as much as I would love to see him succeed when he left the Mets, I mean, he just was not doing well, kind of bounced back a little bit, but he's older now. 30 geez. David Robertson is going to be 39 Nine. this year, like, which is crazy, dude. Yeah. So I, I can't, you know, I don't know, man. I, don't, I, I just, I don't see it there. Could be Yates either out of the bullpen. I understand maybe they can use Dunning out of the bullpen. But make a little run. I don't know, man. I just don't see it happening in the rotation. So give me the Astros winning this one. Um, I just think that, again, like like it falling down to the rotation here. You know, McCullers was a tough loss last year. Um, I think Javier was out for a while as well. It just wasn't good. As um, was in the fours. Yeah, so, I mean, I think that the, those are two guys that could have bounced back years I would look for. Um, so, like I said, give me the Astros winning this. 
division. And I guess, um, you know, the Rangers, just because of their pure offensive prowess, getting second. And then I guess Mariners and then, yeah, Angels and, and Athletics. I think it goes chalk from last season, I guess. Uh, yeah. And then Rangers, Mariners, wildcard teams? Or? Um, Yeah. Uh, I am going to go with Houston winning the division. Mm-hmm. Um, and then I'm going to say Seattle will have a battle, but we'll finish in second. Uh, Rangers get the last wild card spot. I think the pitching, like you said, the offense will be great. Yeah. Um, but I think the Mariners pitching will get them past, you know, the Texas Rangers. So mm. both teams make the playoffs though. And then yeah, by default, the angels, um, you know, in fourth and the, the A's in fifth and who knows, maybe the A's win less games this year than the 50. Honestly, I would not oh, be gosh, surprised. Dude. That would be really sad. But again, I mean, they're they're moving too. You think that they're like their eyes are just not even on this season? Yeah, like they're they just on no. the move, no, right? Just, let's like, get another top draft pick. Yeah, but actually, like wasted. Do something with it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then we got to do. Um, so first, uh, MVP. I, I'll start with Riley here. Who who is the American League MVP? Oof. I know it's tough. It could be a lot of good a lot players of guys, here. Yeah. I know who Brian thinks it's going to be. Um, Actually, well, yeah, you do. Uh, I know what team go, he's going to be on. I'm going to go Adley Rutschman. Wow, that's wow. that's an interesting one. Okay, so Rutschman. Uh, what about you, Tony? Um, I'll go Judge. I'm actually going to say Judge Soto. Soto. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I think 45 home runs for him, over 300 average, World Series championship. Not that that is part of the MVP, but right, it has nothing to do with it. But what do you think? Like Judge <laughs> has, like, where do you think he stands next to Soto stats at that point? Oh, I mean, he's very comparable. One A, one B. What's up yeah. with the Judge injury? Uh, he's fine. Yeah, he's been playing spring training. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> they were just taking it easy, relax, Tony. Funny. All right, Kev, do he's fine. Uh, yeah, he he's fine. Um, I heard some inside information. What do you got, dude? Uh, my friend is down in Florida right now. Really? Yep. Met the Yankees um, head athletic trainer. At, oh my at god, Disney really? World. Oh well, no. Assistant. Assistant. Okay. He's a huge Yankees fan. My friends. He's like freaked out. And he's of like, course. "What's up with Judge?" And he's like, "I can't say anything." Obviously. But it's there's more to what it seems like. Get the fuck out of here. They said find, that to this guy. I can find the text. There's no way. Although, you Is know what? Cap do your friends? I mean, honestly, I wouldn't put it past that Yankees athletic training staff because they're fucking dropping the ball, it seems, left and right. I don't know what's going on there. Dude. Honestly, though, unless, you know, and unless. Asked about Judge, he said he can't talk about it, but there's a lot more than what and, I Unless know. Buster only is reporting it or Jack yeah, Curry, yeah, yeah. I'm not buying it. So let's just put it that way. Dude, we just broke some major news here. Oh, dude. yeah. Yankees yeah, yeah, yeah. team podiatrist. That's a foot doctor, you know? Oh. Yeah, yeah. Podiatrist. This is a foot issue. It's the um, foot. Cy Young. Riley, what do you uh, got? Oh, dude. On the spot. Tough. I know. It is tough. Cy Young. Uh, Shane Bieber. Um, We said Corbin Burns earlier, yeah, but that's yeah. a chalk pick. So oh, I'm, wow. I'm going to go Kirby out of Seattle. Wow. That's an interesting one. Okay. Tony. I mean, I was gonna, I was gonna go with Burns boy, but I guess it's the chalk pick. No, so. no, no. I just didn't. I said it earlier, so I just didn't want to, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like, I like, I like, Kurt. Oh, I like Burns. I think I don't care about the new league or whatever type of spring training. Tough adapt. ballparks in the American East. He'll, though. he'll overcome, dude. I'm not, I'm not worried about him. Much different than Yale Central. It is, it is, but it'll be fine. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna say Luis Castillo. It's a good pick. Um, it's definitely been like one that, of the dude. better, um, you know, pitchers in the, nice the league the last couple of years. Yeah, the mm-hmm. changeup is unbelievable. Crazy. Um, and then rookie of the year. I know this is a tough one. Um, I'm gonna go Wyatt Langford. Oh, wow, from the Texas Rangers. What position? He's an outfielder. Outfielder drafted last year. Just made the team. Nice. Seven home runs in spring training, batting three fifty four. Um, wow. Good. Sounds, sounds good. Um, I'm going to go Evan Carter, also of the Rangers. Still has the rookie status, uh, but we saw him obviously in the playoffs last year. He has a World Series, made some great catches in the outfield. Like, I, I think he's going to be amazing. So. Uh, even though he might not get called up for like a month to get the service time, I think Jackson Holiday. Mm. There we go. Wow. Like yeah, yeah. Honestly, like he a rod type dude. rookie year without the steroids. Mm. Yes. I think, anyway. As far as you Hopefully. know, yeah. you know, there Hopefully. may be more to that. You never know. Um, but nevertheless, it's going to be a uh, a fun season in the American League. Oh, my um, gosh. Yeah. And, and obviously, you know, we'll talk about the National League tomorrow. I can't believe how many comments. Um, so, somebody named Buffer. Who's wow. That? Buffer. Look at this action, dude. Yeah, we definitely were ignoring the comments there. We were dialed into that. Preview. Oh, yeah. It's a preview. Um, but 
<laughs> it's a preview. Prefer uh, Motani doing his best Nixon impersonation. I'm not a crook. That's kind of funny. Prefer just kind of doesn't even say hello or anything. Hey, guys, yeah. it's been a while. Nothing. No context. He also says Bujay's pitching is the best. Um, I mean, come on, dude. Orioles, Rays, Bujay's, Yankees in fourth. Red Sox in last mm-hmm. place, dude. The, uh, the Buka. The Sambuca for, the Sambuca for sure, dude. Um, and then Michael Buck says AL Central absolute dog shit. Uh, the bullpen is a very important part of the game of baseball. That is for sure, he says. And then Nick Main in here says, How about them Strohs, dude? Good team. Good, good team. team. Who'd you very have? Did you Rangers win? I don't even know who you said. Uh, we had, we had Strohs. No, Astros. I did Astros, have the Astros. Astros. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, just because yeah. of the Rangers pitching scenario. Mm-hmm. Um, but hey, listen, as annoying as they are, they're good. But this time we got their number. That's right. And then um first prefer does the central the Guardians, Guardians, Twins, Royals, Detroit, then White Sox. And in the West, he has the Strohs winning Mariners and the Rangers, Angels, and then the A's. Um, and then Prefer says, Riley, find me a bookie willing to have four and a half million dollar credit line. I didn't know you and Prefer were close. Um <laughs> I would love to find you one. Find me one. Well, how about find yeah. prefer? Wait, find first. prefer. Yeah, yeah, really. How about that, dude? I just bet. I bet legally, I don't need a credit line. Yeah. Um, it is kind of tough. Oh, well, I mean, I guess honestly, Otani was in LA this whole time, right? Yeah. So it's like, well, technically at Orange County, because like they oh, say they're... LA, but they're in Anaheim. Oh, right. But is Anaheim? Can you gamble? And no, it's the whole, can, the whole state of California. Legal, California yeah, yeah, right? California, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So which is kind of tough. But Michael Buckter also says A's might not even win fifty games. Michael uh, Theophil, this I don't even know him. I, Maybe new guy <laughs> to the show. Super I think. fan. Super, super fan. fan. Let's go Yankees. Let's says, go Yankees. Best Yanks. show in sports. Um, and then Michael Buck to follow up. Buster only is my home dog. Dude. Michael Buck knows the value of good reporting. Where is, is he from? Is he a Connecticut guy? I don't know. Honestly. I feel like he is, but I could um, be wrong. Fairfield I feel County like it guy. started with Peter Gammons. Mm-hmm. Is Peter Gammons still kicking? Don't know. Uh, like alive? Yeah. Okay. Uh, by I, the way, Buster's from D.C. It DC. says. Good. Pull up Gammons. He's got to be like 85, yeah. 86 Peter at this point. I know Gammons. after ESPN, he went to MLB Network, and then I feel like he was doing some – was he doing stuff for the Red Sox uh, station rally? Well, he opened up as a Red Sox reporter. Guy. So he's been contributing to the Red Sox like his mm-hmm. whole career. Okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. How old, Tony? 78. Uh, 78, dude. Okay. Uh, but he was the classic Boston, baseball yeah. tonight. Boston, yeah. How how sick, Tony, the old baseball tonight. John Crock. Oh my mm. God, dude. What uh, Harold Reynolds. That was the best. Love Harold Reynolds. Yeah. Stand up guy. Ravage. You th- you, I Ravage, hate Carl Ravage. You, what do you think, Tony, with Ravage? I don't know. I can kind of take him or leave him. I really? Think, a little bit, I think dude. He's so bad. Do you think he was better with like that group of people and now that he doesn't have them? Oh, way better. Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. I think absolutely. You just have dude. Ravage call the League World Series every year, and that's about it. Keep him in Williamsport. Yeah, how about you put some fucking socks on? Then we can start talking. <laughs> you don't like my no socks? I don't know. I think that's a bold move, dude. You know, wow. Like, wow. Uh, sneakers, no socks? I mean, you're asking for a foot problem, dude. Yeah, I I, I've yeah, done, I done it before, though. Feet Sometimes I have I've to done say the whole too. process with the shoes is annoying. But I hate shoes that you could just slip into. Yeah. Like, that I have to, because I always tie them tight, so I have to tie, like, it takes forever mm-hmm. to untie them. Then I got to sit down, yeah. put on the side. Like, the process is just annoying. The process is a lot, dude. Like, slip yeah, ons. Yeah. The, the yeah, yeah. Burks or whatever you like. The Birkenstocks, Birkenstocks dude. Yeah, Birkenstocks, Birkenstocks are where it's at, man. Yeah. Get yeah. you a pair. Um, but like I said, uh, we'll talk National League tomorrow. And yes, uh, Michael uh, Chuck Sterling. Sterling is the man. Can't wait to hear his Soto call this year. Uh, but let's go now to the world of the National Hockey League. And here he comes. McDavid shoots. Top shelf. He scores. Captain with the Are you kidding me? Turn. Side of the net between the legs and they score! Filthy! David The silver trophy to the Golden Knights! Michael calling you out there, Tony. Um, that I do it all the time at Riley with mm. no socks. And he says, with dress shoes. Now, listen. First of all, Pump the brakes, all right? I don't know if you guys know, but like I, I sometimes I wear no socks with my boat shoes, which they're made for that. Like you're supposed to wear. Like, but I, I've asked you this before, but you yeah. don't sweat that much with your feet. Um, I, I throw some powder in there, but even with the powder, you really I'm don't high. sweat uh, like in the summer. It depends on what I'm doing. Like obviously, yeah. if Mike and I go outside, start tossing the ball around, yeah, it's gonna get <laughs> kind of a little crazy <laughs> in there. 
Uh, but for the most part, no, because you put the powder in there, it absorbs any moisture, dude. Um, and it's good powder. It smells good. And again, boat shoes, Michael, they're made for that. I don't do no socks on in my sneakers. I actually. That's um, right, dude. I do no socks with boat shoes, um, yeah, which is fine. I do no shot, no socks, no shots with with dress shoes. But the mm. problem is, um, my dress shoes really just rip up my feet. Like I get that mm. cut around oh, the yeah, yeah. ankle bone, so I've had to start wearing um like pads with them because mm. other my my feet will just be gone. Pads? What's a ped? You know, like the sock that you can't see. The oh, pad. oh yeah, those like super yeah low profile one. Um, Michael says Tony. And he says, no, it doesn't. Tony's feet reek. Mm. Uh, listen, everyone's feet smell. I'm even, not going to lie. Even yours, Michael. Your feet smell too, dude. Recently, I've been, um, I got these nice Ugg slippers. Love that. I've been wearing around with no socks. Yeah. And the inside's wool. Yeah. I have the same. And so it gets like a little sweaty and, and, and ratty. And now, and now they're just, they're just like, I almost feel bad just wearing them around. Really? Yeah, I just, I've yeah. always had it with my feet, no matter yeah. what the scenario is. Like right now, my feet drenched. Just from sitting in here. Stop it. Yes. Drenched, yeah. Brian. Yeah. I'm telling really? you. It's just like, I don't know what it is. Is that always the case? Like I feel like just with me in general, I just need ventilation. Need airflow. You so if I mean? you could, like, barefoot. Sandals. No, but I I, no. I, thought, I definitely told you this before. At Eastern, um, and me and Pooch had the same class together. Somebody, like, they didn't want to hurt the earth. So, like, winter, barefoot. No shoes. What does like that they mean, believe in dude? they they believe their feet are damaging the mm. the grass. They don't want to hurt the grass. I'm I that's serious. That was like, that. like a real thing. <laughs> like, what, what, what are your thoughts on that, Tony? Um, I think that that that's kind of tough, dude. <laughs> damaging the grass. I mean, what about but then what about your feet though? Your feet are still on, like uh yeah. Are you I never mean, gonna walk on grass again at all? I don't know. It was a crazy class. Asian philosophy. You never know what you're gonna get. A ancient. Or Asian, Asian, Asian philosophy. philosophy. Asian philosophy. Though. Wow, interesting. Kind of crazy. Sounds like you could, How could learn a lot, though, from there. Uh, that would help you? you in your future endeavors. Asian philosophy? Yeah. I mean, I feel like there's some good philosophies there, some good wisdom. Wasn't there a class on how to do your taxes? No. I think it's called personal finance. Oh. We're about to lose battery on this. I know. We got to try it. You going to try to replace it? It's a big moment for you, dude. Yeah, except I just can't get it out. Um, I was gonna Can't mention, in, Johnny, if you could be of assistance, uh, we gotta update the yes, picks. sir, yes, sir, dude. Um, By the way, real ready. quick though, Michael says he needs new shoes. I need new shoes. Um, I could also well, actually, uh, I, I could like use, me have, yeah, no, having a pair of shoes that in good shape for like th more than three yeah. months is like rare. What do you you wear running shoes? Running shoes, most running shoes all the time. Shoes like yesterday, I had the basketball. Yeah, yeah. Um, no, I'm I'm the same with you though. I run my shoes into the ground, dude. Like, mm -hmm. like forget about it. Um, but all right, let's get some hockey picks going here. Friday, dude. Friday's slate. Are you ready? Tony? I am ready, dude. What are hurricanes in the under? Two. Uh, oh, and two. <laughs> oh, and two. <laughs> Stars in the over. Oh. Two and two. Oh, and no. Sorry. Uh, oh, uh, it wasn't five oh, and a half. Oh, wait a minute. Penguins? Never know. I thought it was five and a half. Don't go to box score. Uh oh, I did the box score again, dude. Just such a freaking. Uh, yeah. Okay. So, so one and three. One and three. And then the Avalanche the, the over. Yep. Uh three three. Okay. And the coyotes in the under. Wow. Five and three. There we go. And then out to Saturday. Yep. Jets in the under. Uh five and five. Bruins in the under. Six and six. Blues in the over. It's eight and six. Predators in the under. Ten and six. Oilers in the over. Eleven and seven. Senators in the over. Uh, 13 and 7. Rangers in the over. 15 7. Canucks in the under. 16 8. Golden Knights in the under. Um, I want to say it was six and a half, right? Should be. So it hit the under. You said Golden Knights in the over? Under. Uh, under was six and a half. So 16 and 8, didn't you say? So yeah, 18 so 18 and 8. And eight. Uh, lightning in the under. Um, the eighteen and eight. No, sorry, eighteen ten. Sorry. And then uh, lightning in the under, or no, Blackhawks in the under. That's what I meant. Uh, nineteen and eleven. Okay. Is that that yeah, right? That, and that, eleven thirty. So, so fifteen that, games catches through. Uh, and then we'll go up to you here. <sighs> yeah. Um, all right. 
So Hurricanes in the over. Uh one and one. Uh stars in the under. Um, it was six and a half, we said, yeah. right? So uh, d- uh three and one. Uh and then the avalanche in the over. Uh five and one. Coyotes in the under. Seven and one. And then Jets in the under. Seven and three. Bruins in the under. Um, eight and four. Blues in the under. Nine and five. Uh Predators in the over. <sighs> Ten and six. Maple Leafs in the over. Twelve and six. Devils in the under. Twelve and eight. Rangers in the under. Um thirteen and nine. Uh Canucks in the over. Fifteen and nine. Uh Knights in the over. Uh what was it? 15 and nine, 17 and nine. Uh Kings in the over. Nineteen and nine. And then Blackhawks in the under. Twenty and ten. Wow, so one pick difference there. Um you were twenty one and nine, right? I was nineteen and eleven. Oh wow. And so that brings us to I got a one game this, lead, I think. Yeah. Uh let's see. So 178 and 19, also known as 197. And then 11, 166. Well, we're doing actually really good with these picks, by the way. Let's freaking go, I mean, baby. A lot of picks we're getting here, but still. Yeah. Uh, and then you're 200 and 163. Wow. Let's go, baby. Everything lines 200 up. 163. <laughs> yeah. No, wait, that's uh, let's see what their percentage is on that. So you'd be up 37 units. So 200 yeah, divided go, by baby. 363. So you're hitting at a 55% clip, though. Is 55 enough to turn a profit rally or no? Yeah, if, if he's betting units. Okay. Like, you'd be up 37 units. If you're betting, 55%. You know, you know. I mean, you're you're happy with that, Tony? Or no, I'm not, actually. I, you I, want 60. Yeah. 60, I think 60, you're, 60 you're, is, yeah. you're in the clear. Yeah. 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 Um, but still. It's I, the over-unders that fucking. Actually, I, I think, think we're getting sometimes. better. I think, I think, yeah, I think we are. Why? Wait, what Ridiculous. did you say, Rose? What was that? You, 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 what, would you, what would your, how many clips would you have, dude? Whatever. I don't know what I get. You're not happy with 55%? No, I'm not. So, so I think 55% is probably better than most. So then I just spin what I just said, and then now I think you're picking this. Yeah. Why? Because I'm striving for greatness? I just think you got to be happy where you are. 55% is very good. No one said I wasn't happy. I just said... You I, seem tight. Yeah. Well, I'm tight that you're, not, you're reversing your... <laughs> well, That's you were, fucking tough, dude. You were tight that you got 55%. I wasn't good. tight, but I'm like, I want better. I want to be better. There's a you lot think, of room to be better. What, what are the chances you go four and zero tonight? Very high. So let's do a hockey. <laughs> oh, Fred. Fred. oh no, oh, no. Dude, right. Right. With, no music. Right. with no music. Here we go, baby. It's Monday, March 25th, throughout the National Hockey League. We have two powerhouse <laughs> games tonight, baby. We're starting late and we're starting very infrequently here. 8 p.m. The Vegas Golden Knights marching into St. Louis there as they take on the Blues. Vegas, of course, the home favorites. Minus 140. Over under is at six and a half. These teams have split the regular season series at one. Last time these teams faced each other actually was early December for both games. First game, Blues won 2 1 overtime. Second game, Knights won 6 to 3 and a little bit of a blowout. So a little bit of both things here. Both games, teams, excuse me, on two game win streaks. We got. Yeah, I got to say, I, I think the Blues will win this, win the season series. I think this will be tight, but I like them at home here. Um, and I think this is a under. You know, we've seen one over, one under, but I think this is an under. Um, I'm going to say Butch Nevich, uh, the game winner, 3-2 in overtime. All right, dude. Uh, Aiden Hill, by the way, out. Got to check that. Um, looks like who returned it is tomorrow nonetheless, but still Logan Thompson there for the Golden Knights will get the start, I'm sure. I'm going to go Knights and the over, believe it or not. I mean, look at the Blues last five games. They've been winning a lot, doing well, uh, but they beat Minnesota twice and couldn't do it in regulation either game. Beat Ottawa once, beat Anaheim once, lost 4-3 to to Colorado. Put up a good fight, but nonetheless, I think the Knights here are going to sweep the Blues away. Give me the Knights. Uh-huh. Over under, uh, I mean, five to two, five two. Next game up here, uh, the last and final game here. We're going to Vancouver, baby, as the Kings take on the Canucks at Rogers Arena in Vancouver, British Columbia, dude. The tickets, by the way, have to be the lowest average ticket price over here. Twenty eight dollars for the first game, forty eight dollars for this game here in Vancouver. 
Over under is at five and a half. Vegas expecting the low scoring. Um, this is going to be the third and not final time, excuse me, that they face each other. Uh, last two games um, are split. Kings won 5 1 first time. Canucks 2 1. So an over and an under. And both teams yet again matching their win streaks at three. Um, what do you think is going to happen here, dude? Yeah, I have to say, uh, you know, look at these. The first two games, I mean, I guess it, I don't know what the total was on the first one, but if it was this total, it would have been an over. Um, but I think regardless of that, I think it will go over. Five and a half is not a big ask. That was six and a half. Now it's down to five and a half. But that's that's where they get you, Tony. Uh, so I'm going to say JT Miller, the Hattie, the dream season continues for him and the Canucks. And I think they win this one four to three in regulation. You think Vancouver in the over? Ah, uh, take your boys. No, I'm gonna go with the over for sure. And it's, it's the way it's trending. Infatuated. I mean, I do with like Kobe the Tar, Kings, Tony. dude. Kopi Tar, dude. Uh, Vancouver minus one three, tight, tight home favorites too. Give me the Kings and the over. Mm. Kings and the over. Final score. Ah, uh, I want to say five to four. Okay. In overtime. In overtime. Gotcha. And that is your hockey frenzy. Um, so a light slate. Obviously, Rangers back in action tomorrow. I'll beat the game. So pumped for that. Uh, I I still can't believe the last time I was at a Ranger game was the infamous. It's not, not over, over yet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but we're jacked. You're hearing a lot of that, baby. You're jacked up for that. Um, Riley, if you had to put a percentage on it, uh, what would you say that we get Boston, New York conference final? Um, zero, uh, 40, uh, 36 percent, 36 more likely Panthers are in there, and then yeah, yeah. Um, I really, but either way, it's I think a revenge series though, because I'm trying to think how this would okay. So go to the standings right now, Tony, go to uh, wild card because that gives you kind of um. <laughs> I think you got round. But anyway, so right now, uh, what we have. Okay, so we would play the Capitals. The Capitals. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then the, uh, the Panthers would play, would play, would play yeah. the Lightning. If it was a finish, how it is right now, you're one right. point ahead. Yeah, yeah. Panthers play the Lightning. So then Bruins, uh, Maple Leafs, and then Hurricanes, Flyers. So who, uh, second round, if we had Chalk. Um. Oh. Okay. So what, you would stay within the division here. Or yeah. No? Stay within the division. So you would mm -hmm. play Carolina no matter uh, Carolina Flyers no matter what. Oh. Mm -hmm. So um, you guys would have to play Florida. We would play Florida. Yeah. yeah second Florida. Round. Stay in your division yeah. until the conference finals. Yeah. So it, okay. So oh, and there can't be a Boston Florida so unless unless like um uh the wild you end up playing win. the Lightning and then the Lightning mm -hmm. win then they would play the winner of Hurricanes Flyers. Right. Okay. Yeah, so but there is no like reseeding, no. No, 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 okay. no, no. But I, I just I don't know. I wish, like we said, I wish they would just go back to the regular format. Mm -hmm. What did the divisions used to be called? Do you guys remember? I think they were still Atlantic. They were and, yeah, they were but, yeah. But wasn't there more than two divisions? No. There was during the COVID year. That was it. Other yeah, than that, it's always made... been Atlantic and Metropolitan. Like yeah, the Rangers as far were as playing as in the Metropolitan in like the when they won the cup in ninety four. They were part of the Metropolitan division. <sighs> question i don't know see tony i i kind of think there was three i could be wrong but for some reason um i don't even know like how many nhl divisions were, were there in 94 yeah all right see what they got well, that's when you used to have the PD adams here. division too yeah it'll have probably standings at the bottom i would imagine Eastern Conference. Oh, here's divisions. Northeast. Northeast Division, Atlantic. Okay, so it was just two. And then though. Central and Pacific. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, it, was it was just two. Yeah. But the difference was they replaced. Well, they had to switch Metropolitan. some things around when um the Quebec the, Nordics moved. Yep. And then Quebec Detroit. Nordics. Yeah. Detroit they are the, the Avalanche now, I believe, right? Wow. I had no idea yeah. they yeah. ever existed. Yeah, dude. And um then, and then obviously the Whalers are now going to be Car Carolina. Detroit was in the West. That's um, when you had the big rivalry with Chicago. Yeah, yes, Detroit dude, was yeah, in yeah. the West. Wow. The um, old days, huh? Yeah, kind of crazy, dude. Um, Michael, I guess, was out to lunch saying he wants to talk about NCAA. Best time of the year. I'm ready to hear some UConn. Michael, we talked about it. We said it's almost boring that they're mm -hmm. so good. Obviously, you never want to take a championship year for granted if that's what we get again. Not once, not never. Uh, but 
I think the, the easiest solution here would be to have all the number one seeds in the final four, and then things get interesting. Um, I I forgot, Ryan. Who did you say you think would be the biggest challenge? For for UConn. UConn, I think that... I know you said Iowa State, but out of the ones. Out of the ones, I think it's got to be Purdue. Purdue. Because Edie. I think Edie can match up well against Klingon down low. Um, They have guys that can match up. I still think UConn has more dogs on their team. But matchup wise, Edie, Edie can definitely throw a wrench into. A and and how about two Cam Spencer? Like you just need a three. Like just count it yeah. as good, mm -hmm. basically. Yeah, yeah sure. literally though. Which we were watching them last crazy. night. Nasty yeah. dude. One of the best teams uh, they've touch. ever had. Just seeing. So um, <laughs> that Texas A&M finish last night was crazy. Though. Did you get a chance to see that? Uh, yeah, it was. What's so funny? So Brian? breaking news. Really? Wait, wait, wait. Tony Page number two. Passed it twice. Top right. Hammer it. Yes. Washington State men's basketball coach. Uh, oh, my God. Has accepted the Stanford job, but I think it's Borzello. Oh, yes. Yes. What, <laughs> that was, I, it was one of those things. You know, you get the notification, then you, yeah. you do something, and then it just goes away. Oh, yes. That was rumored last night on um, Twitter. That has that goes along with Dusty May, the guy from Florida. FAU Atlantic, going to Michigan to replace Michigan. Juwan Howard. Even though he took, and I understand the whole you want to go and play at a blue blood program or a big program, but he took FAU to the Final Four. FAU rewarded him with like a one point five million dollar deal, mm -hmm. so he has, gets to coach college basketball. Oh, by the way, it's Florida. Kyle Smith. Yeah. Sorry, I got the name wrong. What's Kyle better Smith. than that? Nothing's better than that. Coaching, well, I mean, now you're gonna go to Ann Arbor, Michigan. Maybe a little bit of more pay. Maybe they're gonna like two million a year. But $1.5 million a year to coach basketball in Boca Raton, I would just stay there the rest of my life. Yeah. yeah it's pretty less sick, less pressure yeah. as well. Um, so we'll see. Michael wanting to know if I'm going golfing today. We're trying, Michael. It depends how the, the afternoon goes. But we're prepared just in case. Riley knows. Always yeah. have the clubs in the car. And always. I think Tony has learned that as well. Yes, clubs yeah. in the car for sure. Um, they're still in my truck, I believe. Actually, I think it's taken them but out. You, you, Nonetheless, though, that's yeah. That's the hammer, you never know, dude, yeah. You never know mm -hmm. when a round starts. And you also never yeah. know when just a little rain shesh might just come into your head. Exactly. And he goes, dude. I can tell. <laughs> I did, he didn't say the yeah, laugh, but, but I just figured tell. like yeah, he was yeah. thinking. Yeah. You Do know? you go extra pair of socks in the car as well? No. Ooh. Golf shoes always. In if the car. Tony didn't have class, we would have hit the range today. Stop it, Michael. He's teasing <laughs> me. Definitely would not. Definitely no. Oh, what time no, do you have class? No, Tony? two to four forty-five. Two twenty-two. Two twenty-two. <laughs> I have class. Michael says two, no so barns. You look great. Come to your class, and, and I appreciate that, That'd Michael. Be sick, dude. Um, um and uh he says dead, dead ass. ass dude dead ass no, no i'm um, euros no, what does that mean oh serious um, serious yeah, yeah serious appreciate it michael appreciate it uh one last thing i was gonna mention about the range i these, figured yeah. since you know riley you're not gonna be here tomorrow mm. uh wanted your world series prediction Ooh. on the spot what do you got dude Ooh. red um, Sox. we are going to go rangers in it again coming out of the wild wow. card out of the west in it again Against out of the National League, the New York I'm Mets. In, I'm, gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna play chalk here. Dodgers. Actually, no. Take the Rangers out of it. This would be a cool World Series. Let's go Yankees. Let's go Dodgers. Wow. World Series. Who wouldn't want that? Baseball would want that. It'd bring people to the sport. It'd be an old time matchup. Yeah. We've been earning for earning it for, for like logos, ten years. Now. The logos, Yankee Stadium, Dodger Stadium. Maybe it goes, that goes seven. That'd be a great matchup. Let's is, go. Is uh, is Otani gonna be in there? Um, I think he actually might bet on the games too beforehand. <laughs> yes. Uh, oh, yeah, he's God. gonna finagle his way. If it was a marginal player, though, he would have been banned for life yeah. already. Uh, and then wow, Michael matchup. hyped for the World Series, but also Michael Theoville saying maybe after class, Tony. Yeah, we'll see. We got we got some errands to run today. Six hours of sleep or four and a half, maybe. Yeah, yeah, well, dude. <laughs> Talk about the, night, like, dude. Yeah, yeah. the story, like. Baseball needs that. I, feel I know. Like. like I know. I think the ratings would be the highest since the, the Cubs and mm -hmm. the Guardians. Yeah. And especially if or you had, especially time. if you had Otani with an MVP year bat, uh, hitting for the Dodgers. You had yeah. Soto MVP year, like all these. The Yamamoto mm -hmm. storyline yeah. and the yeah. Yankees How getting their I, vengeance. I kind of mm -hmm. hope Yamamoto just keeps getting rocked. Yeah. Like he Why? got. Is, I thought it was funny that the Padres just came yeah. out in the ring. Just absolutely. Well, cause, come on, because yeah, it yeah. is a little ridiculous to expect somebody that's never pitched in the majors to just walk into a $300 million contract yeah. and be like lights out. Yeah, it, I mean, it, it really no. it is ridiculous. And yeah. I, I was talking about it with Mike and, and Matt the other day. I mean, like, there's so many differences between the two leagues, too. The ball is like, one of the biggest things. Dude, like, what the hell, man? The ball is yeah. bigger here. The yeah. scene, that's why you see guys in the MLB with more um, 
what's it called blisters mm -hmm. because the seams are raised more than the japanese ball. which is so crazy like not, not to mention on. it's just like i mean talk about i mean i know like media attention to raise a play a factor uh tanya has talked about that but still just overall like feel for the sport the but stadiums the travel I the did, rest time like the, yeah. the i'm sure like the training is different too i did see Crazy. one thing water jugs. with um the water jugs are full dude <laughs> some former mlb players todd frazier and there's another guy and they were like yeah his stuff's great but he loves his fastball usage rate and they think that in the mlb all these guys can hit fast i don't care if it's 101 like mm -hmm. they yeah. can hit fastball so they think that his fastball is going to get hit all year which would which would we, we saw the other yeah. day um, which would be interesting to see if that Imagine happens. the Dodgers miss the playoffs. Roberts can Otani Ben. I'm not a Roberts Mets guy. In, dude. <laughs> yes. Not, I am not a Roberts guy. Um, yeah. uh, we all we all know Mookie's an outstanding athlete. Mm -hmm. But right. just coming out like the first week and being like he's gonna be our starting shortstop, I just it just seemed like something that didn't need to happen. Um I don't know, and we saw Mookie not struggle, but not make the plays that an uh MLB shortstop would make. Uh, so I think that's interesting playing my shortstop the whole season. It's yeah. very mm -hmm. interesting. Yeah. So lots of storylines. Um, and we are steps away from the start of the 2024 regular season. Can't wait. Um, but here we are. Another great show uh, to start off the week. And we appreciate everybody who tuned in and continues to comment, like, and subscribe. All of the archives on the YouTube page. Tony, Michael, Renee. And Jane costume the merch at downtimetv.com. Want everybody to enjoy the day, enjoy the games. Let's go, Yankees! Let's go, Mets. And we will see you. Manana. Hey guys, Tony here from Downtime TV checking in. I want to thank all our fans out there who's been liking, subscribing, sharing our content. You guys are the best. You guys are our bloodline. You make us love what we do. Thanks again.